All right, Viper's video is back in the barn today, and I am going to do something completely different. Um, I'm going to start a new series, super unrehearsed, and probably it's going to border more on like comedy more than it being helpful. But hopefully, it'll just be fun and entertaining, and you'll get to see a pellet gun, a knife throwing, gosh, who knows what. But anyway, I'm, I'm going to call this my uh, quick and sick series. And I'm going to try to limit these videos to no more than 12 minutes, and uh, we'll give it a shot. Anyway, I'm feeling kind of punchy because, again, it's hot and humid, so the fan is on. Again, I apologize for the noise. So I thought to myself, you know, with all this hot weather, how come I'm not shooting my CO2s? Well, typically it's not a lot of fun when you have a PCP unless there's a purpose, like, you know, just want to shoot CO2. <laughs> so... Anyway, I was kind of digging through the cabinet, and I remembered that years ago I had picked up this RX uh, uh, Peacemaker Colt 45 1873, and I think the designation was Ranger. It was really something that was on clearance at a local big box store, um, so I picked it up. But there it is right there. But... Again, this is definitely a couple years ago, and I haven't shot it since then, but I think the star on this one is the Ranger. I think they just called it Ranger. It's not really a Lawman or Wyatt Earp or John Wayne, but anyway, I, I don't even know if this one's available anymore, but they have a multitude of other ones. Uh, this is fired uh, with cartridges that you load a BB into. This is BBs only. There's just a smooth bore. Uh, brass barrel insert inside of there. So what I remember was kind of fun. Put your CO2 in the handle, the grip. Again, I'm just going by memory here. And uh, it fires the, you know, the CO2 and then the BBs in the back of the cartridge and it fires out the, or the barrel. So again, good fun. And what, here, here's where the quick and sick comes in. Um, obviously I haven't handled this for years I don't even know when and I probably wasn't even that good with it then but I thought it might be fun today on a hot day <laughs> to play with the CO2 and actually try some safe quick drawing so nothing reckless I'm just going to uh, draw it out cock it back and fire it but this is an old uh, when I say old I'm talking early 80s it is an El Paso El Paso Saddlery Makers. This was originally for a real uh, Ruger firearm that I used to carry when I would go hunting. Or this is just a replica gun. There's, it's non-firing. There's no. It's just a replica. It's made out of pop metal, and I had kind of modeled it after the um, Clint Eastwood "Man with No Name" series, fistful of dollars, few dollars more. Um, so it was kind of fun but it's been a wall hanger I've had this hanging on the wall for a number of years I <laughs> figured I'd strap it on and uh, embarrass myself trying to quick draw safely and fire just at a target downrange probably somewhere you know 15 20 deep. I guess we'll have to see I don't think my skill level is where it used to be so we'll uh, get this all set up and Okay, so I'm back real quick. I just got the table cleaned off. This isn't going to be any really kind of a review um, for this Umarex Colt. It's a 177 caliber BB gun. But I thought, if nothing else, you'd at least go through the motions with as much as I know about it. Um, as I said, I'm no expert in this area, so if you guys, like I said, it's as much comedy as anything. So if you see me doing something wrong, just laugh or comment on it or whatever. So in order to load and unload this, um, cock it back. Line your cartridge up with where it's supposed to be and push it out with the uh, cartridge extractor. So there you go. Okay. So I'm using some uh, Hornady 177 steel BB. As far as I remember, you just push the BB in there. I just push it in with my fingernail. A little. And again, I'll obviously speed this up or edit it out because once you see how exciting this is, there you go. Anyway, I'm going to load these in the gun and then you just rotate the cylinder around to an empty chamber so 
Then what I do is I gas it up. So personally, I just always put a drop of uh, air gun oil of some sort. There's a million kinds you can use. Well, just, just don't goober it in there. This is just kind of to help the seals. Then the nice thing that they did was they actually put the kind of that looks like it's around a quarter inch Allen head screw the handle. So I just uh, hang on to it. Whatever angle just happens to be the most. I'd like to just kind of help line it up because it can fall kind of crooked in there. So, and there you go. You just get a little sizzle and I just give it a little bit more. And then she's good to go. Here's the slide the grip in. There's a little tab you wouldn't want to break if you get a little reckless. So, Okay, and then it's good to go. So if you cock this back and then pull the trigger, that's what fires it. So right now it's, it's safe. There's also a safe on the bottom that if you really want to make the weapon safe. That, but considering it's in action, you have to pull it back, cock it to fire it. So. So I will load these other ones up and then strap that on and we'll get ready to give it a try down range. Okay, so I uh, finished loading up these other cartridges and I put them in the belt loops on the gun belt and uh, well, looks like I got some crud built up around these uh, brass fasteners that I... Okay, like I said, this is definitely not a rehearsed situation. So. You can laugh about it, or so if I make a complete fool of myself, that's unfortunate. It's actually really well made. I don't know what alloys they use, but it's heavy, and it appears uh, well made. I've compared it to some of my other single actions, and it's really, really an accurate replica, and it weighs a lot, and it actually feels really nice. So it should fit right in there. Oh, look at that. Boy, that is nice. I'm trying to show a little bit of wear from all the fancy gun twirling I probably shouldn't have been doing. But I'm going to strap this on and you all can laugh and we'll see where we go from here. I probably haven't strapped this on for, I can't even tell you how many years. And I have cargo shorts on, I have a t-shirt, so it's really not necessarily period of tire. And there's a really good chance I was probably 20 to 30 pounds lighter. So, yeah, I can tell you already, this, oh my God, this is really going to be the comedy hour. This did not even fit me. There's a special uh, way that these really lock in nice and tight with like an inner uh, catching system here. But of course when you're too large for it then it uh, doesn't really work so good. So I will try this again a lot lighter. So lots changed. So there's some more comedy. Like I said it has been a couple years since I fired that gun. And <laughs> Oh yeah, a hell of a lot longer since I played with this holster. Oh, okay, well not too bad. I'm sloppy. Anyway, I'll let's see. Yeah, it's been a while. I'm rusty. What? Just down at the target. And we'll see what kind of damage I can do here. If I'm going to be doing kind of some quick draw shooting, I'm going to just be point shooting. So actually marked off 15 feet, so I'm going to go 15 feet back. Um, again, I'm not trying to target shoot, just having a little fun with some uh, point shooting. So we'll see how it goes. Okay. Okay, super rusty, but that's okay. Well, I went way up here. Okay, well, well, I'll tell you. You can see that's not terribly accurate. So the next group I'm going to fire will actually be, I'll, I'll point and shoot and see if I can do a little bit better. 
I'll fast draw the first one and then point and shoot after that. Okay, so I do not know where the first one hit. I'll, I'll have to review that, but in any case, that's when I actually kind of uh, sort of aimed. It's not exactly the best aiming system, but uh, at least I tried a little harder for aiming there. But uh, I think it just takes some getting warmed up. But anyway, there you go. So hopefully I provided you with a little bit of comedy, just, just a little bit uh, of information. Yeah, not bad. You know, obviously it, it fired, it worked. Um, it's actually a lot of fun. You can see even with limited skills and knowledge, you can still really enjoy this and it's not a real hard uh, gun to master or practice with. I don't recommend doing any of that. Quick drawing and gun twirling, but uh, it's strictly for entertainment. I just have fun doing it and I try to be as safe as I can. So um, anyway, I just hope you enjoyed uh, me making a fool out of myself uh, on my first quick and sick video. All right. Thanks a lot. Take care.